Good morning, doing a live today. I'm trying to go live more often, well, at least on the weekends when I actually can, because I'm not working my job and I can get in front of a, a window with light coming in. So I'm gonna be using my Saint Cream makeup today and I just melted all my tins down today so they look good. Good morning, hello. Uh, so doing that, I did do my mascara and I primed my eyes already just because that takes a long time for me apparently, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do my makeup. Uh, I like to prime, I am an oily skin gal so I do have to prep my skin. Good moisturizers, well serums, I don't use moisturizers, I use serums. I'm dry, but I overproduce oil, but you still need serums and stuff like that. So cream makeup doesn't work well with silicone products. So everything I use is silicone free, except for I haven't checked the ingredients on this one, but I just use this to prep my skin. This has a clay in it, which helps to absorb the oil. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. So I just spray this on my sponge. It's messy because um, it does have a clay in it and it just sprays white everywhere. So I just spray it on my sponge over a rag or whatever, or over my trash can. And just pat this on. I don't know why I wear black when I do lives. Um, actually, I've been trying like a color experiment with um, just taking pictures of myself in each top that I wear, trying to find like colors that really suit my skin tone well because I am a warm skin tone. All right, uh, after that, I like to use a primer just to help my makeup grip. And I love this one. This is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. Uh, no silicones in it, and it's just, it's beautiful, so. And it's actually affordable, and you can find it, like, everywhere. <laughs> so it's like $7. I do have my sunscreen on. I wear sunscreen every single day. And I'm using another silicone-free product for that, and it is the... Hero Cosmetics, the super light uh, sunscreen. It's SPF 30, but it's got like a green tint to it, so it helps like cover any redness. Well, not today. I don't know why my skin is so red today. Oh, I did radio frequency, that's why. Okay, while we're letting that dry, this is when I would normally prep my eyes, but I'm just gonna talk about my same palette. So this is cream makeup. Uh, I'm in love with it, so I never thought I could actually love makeup the way that I love this, and I thought I'll say artist. I'm like, oh my God, that's just a bunch of bullshit. No, <laughs> I love my makeup. So it does take a minute for your skin to adjust. Like it probably took my skin two months to adjust and it really took me two months to understand the application. Don't be precise with it. If you're gonna be precise with it, it's gonna take you forever to date to do, slap it on. Like it's so easy, just slap it on. It can be messy and then it, it just looks so beautiful. Just, it melts together and it's just gorgeous. Um, cream makeup is hydrating makeup. So if you have dry skin, it's perfect for you. Um, as we age, our skin dries out and then like the liquid foundations, they really just settle into your pores and all your fine lines and wrinkles. And most of us are using matte and then it just looks worse. So your skin does not need matte products if you are an oily skin type. So treat it well and it will look awesome. So I'm gonna go in with the 3D brush. And I am a level four in the collection. So my main um, highlight color foundation is the color Sandy. Sometimes I'll use Mango on my nose, and that's the great thing about cream products is you can you can put two different colors on and nobody's gonna know. So that's what I love about them. But you see this redness, like Mango will help with the, the redness and all that. All right, so this is my main color Sandy, and I just got my eyebrows microbladed. Well, it's been 10 days, but I'm still trying not to get product on them. So just wiping it on. Okay, now flipping over to the bigger side of the brush. And since I melted these down today, they're like really gonna move around in my face. But I woke up agitated this morning because I was watching Dateline last night. I know Dateline and 2020, they both did a piece on um, the Idaho college murders, the Mos Moscow, I think they called it Moscow, um, murders. And it was a two hour special. And I was, we watched it till like a little bit after nine. And then we went and laid down in bed just to watch it there. And I ended up falling asleep with like a half an hour left. And I woke up to the, the news coming on. So I still don't know, Does is there a motive for these murders? Like it drives me crazy when I don't understand motives for murders. Um, I think that's why I watch it is like, I'm trying to like understand the criminal, not because I want to be a criminal or hurt anybody. It's because I want the victims to have a voice, you know? So I just feel like that gives the victims a voice to like tell their story, like what happened. So I'm hoping they can figure it out, but I don't know. I just, it drives me crazy when I don't know. All right, I'm putting my main highlight all the way underneath my eyes. I 
don't really use a brightening shade unless it's on my eyelids because I have super crepey under eyes and it just enhances the heck out of them. Okay, so now I'm going into the mango, just a teeny tiny bit to cover any of this redness. So I'm gonna tap it where I need it. So I don't know if you guys are into like murder mysteries, but I'm hugely into it and I could probably just sit there and watch it. That and like home improvement all day. <laughs> I used to actually, but now I really try to turn the TV off a lot more and not watch it. So, I mean, I'm busy, it's all heck, so. All right, so normally I don't take this long to do this. All right, so, I don't, um, so normally I do my contour and then I do this, but I think I put a little bit too much product down just because I melted my products this morning and then they actually move much better. So just picking up any excess right now. I usually get a lot right here and then right here in these larger pores. All right, so going into the detail brush. So this is, they're all dual sided brushes, which is amazing. So they're $40 and you get two brushes for that. And these are just superior brushes. I mean, they're made for cream makeup. So if you're gonna buy cream makeup, you definitely want a brush. And I always recommend the Collection 8 just because you get your whole face. This is a Collection 12. Um, the Collection 12 actually comes with eyeshadows. It comes with like four eyeshadows. Um, I just, I'm this, I'm a Saint Artist, so I have like a million eyeshadows. Um, okay, but if, if anybody knows, like if they talked about a motive last night for Brian, like committing this these murders and killing four people, let me know what it is, because it's gonna drive me crazy. All right, I'm using the color henna right now. I just switched to this um, probably a month ago, maybe five weeks ago, because it's more of a neutral tone. I mean, I can get it with, with olive, which is a warmer, but um, which I am a warm skin tone, but Sandy is actually a neutral. So I actually consider my um, skin tone to be neutral, my undertones, because there's pink and red. All right, and then my cheeks. So I'm gonna kind of just hug my cheekbone here. I'm not going below it, I'm just, I'm on it. Ah, it's amazing when you melt your tins down, what happens? Okay, and then I have a reel coming up uh, next week. Talks about your contour um, and contouring for your face shape. So I have cheek filler, cause I put it there. Um, so I kind of, like my skin, my face was long and skinny. So putting the cheek filler in, it kind of, it did widen my face back up, but now I have like that, that contour underneath my cheekbones. So I don't technically need to contour. Um, I do it just to show um, like makeup, like your placement. But if you have like a skinny face, you might think about like scooping it up under your cheekbone. And then if you have a, 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 a wider face, you might think about like bringing it more diagonal. Um, I'm just gonna contour where I can already see the shadow. Now, my nose, I really don't contour my nose. Like you can see where the light's hitting it. You can actually see like where I need to contour my nose, but I have enlarged pores right here. And to me, it just looks muddy when I do my nose. So I just, I really don't um, promote contour on the nose unless you really have to. I'm okay with my nose. It is my dad's nose, um, you know, miss him. Um, I can't believe it's, he, he would have been 71 this year, so it's crazy. This January 30th. Remember last year I said, well, dad, you made it to 70. He's like, oh my God, I know. And like his health was just so bad as it is. Um, so he's, he hung in there for a long time, just feeling horrible, so. Okay, perfect. So that's the contour. And now I'm going to Grab my 3D brush again, and I'm gonna go into the fluffy side and go into my bronzer. This is Bella Bronzer. She's perfect for me. I'm in love with her. I have to be careful because I did just melt my tins down, and now my product's actually gonna lay down. You can take a tissue and wipe them down, but they do develop a film, and you know, just like the dust gets on them and air gets so. It's kind of like the equivalent of having to shake up your liquid foundation because uh, it's separated a little bit. But you do this, they're beautiful. They actually move. No need to blow dry them. And that's another thing. If um, I always talk about this. I try to talk about it all the time just so that people are aware because if you have the wrong colors, it's gonna look patchy, it's gonna break up, it's, you're gonna hate your makeup. 
um, because it's just showing all kinds of texture. Like if your highlight's too light, it's gonna show all kinds of texture. It's gonna be like, your face is gonna look oily. Um, that's when you know you have the wrong color. But when you have the right shade, the right shades, the contour and the highlight, like it's imperative that you have the right shades. Otherwise you're not gonna like your makeup. So even contour, like you have to have the correct, um, the right colors of contour. Like you can get away with a couple um, different highlights. You can get away with a couple of different contours, but you, <laughs> you cannot get away with the wrong shades because you'll hate it. You'll be like, it's the worst makeup ever. And it's not, it's so beautiful. So that's where your St. Artist comes in. I can help you if you don't have a St. Artist. So you just have to submit a color match via the link in my bio. It's just, it's so pretty. All right, so I think that's it for that. Okay, another real tip coming up next week, and this one's on blush. I've melted my blushes down today, so I hope this works. So this is nude, this is a matte. These ones are satin, well, these, these three are satins. I have all of the satins, because I love the satins. Um, this one is Ballerina. I accidentally spilled this on the counter, so, uh, but I have like six Ibiza, so I'm gonna go into Ibiza today which is um, this beautiful color. And Saint is actually going to start releasing shades of the season. Um, I saw one, I think it's called Bear, and it's like a brown. This one's more like a the perfect like pink nude. That one's more like the perfect brown nude. So I'll be stocking up on those. I am more into like the natural looks. I do love the oranges just because I am a warm skin tone. And orange really brings out um, gr the green color in my eyes because orange is complementary to green well red is but orange is the closest one so I don't really like red on my um, cheeks but orange like orange shadows bring it out too all right like if you're um, a blue-eyed girl well orange is going to be complimentary for you as well um you can use blue eyeshadows green eyeshadows um i mean i can use green eyeshadows too i just don't typically care for them on me if i really want to make my eyes pop i use purple so i don't know what that i don't know what that was all right so i'm just making sure i have my placement good because i'm not looking in a mirror i'm looking at my phone all right, so what I do from here is I go on with the Charlotte Tilbury, the uh, Flawless Setting Spray. So if you're a dry skin type, you can get away with just a um, spray, uh, setting spray. That's what they're called. Um, but I am not one of the skin types, so I do use a powder as well. But I do prefer to do this first um, to set the makeup, and then I will let it dry and go in with the Laura Mercier, the translucent um, setting powder. Um, love this stuff. This is really good. This does not matte the same makeup. Like it does at first, but then it comes back. Like I've tried the Fenty, like the lavender. I've tried a few different ones. Um, they don't work as well as this. So I definitely recommend these, these products for oily skin, like love them. Um, I, <laughs> like I did all the testing for you, um, just so that we could find something that actually works for oily skin. All right, I'm gonna go into my eyeshadow now. So I have like my little Saint palette and I organized all of my um, eyeshadows today. I was trying to do them in like the warm, the cool, the cool neutral, the warm neutral, the neutrals, but some of most of them are on this palette because this is my, my neutral palette. These are neutral colors. Some of them are warm, it's like my tangerine, that one's warm. Um, I think I'm gonna do probably butterscotch again today. Butterscotch has just become my most favorite color. So this is her right here, so just gorgeous. So I'm just waiting for that setting powder to dry. So I just figure I'd do my eyeshadow while we're doing that. So I'm sticking my eyelash curler in the corner of my eye. So it's like pushing into my eye socket. So you see that? And now, this is just like a hack. And this is how I have been doing my makeup, just because I have hooded eyes. Um, and it, this just helps me bring that above my hood. I mean, I know where it's at now, but I just, I do this because I wanna help other women understand the placement so we don't want to put this in our natural crease which is way down here because when I open my eyes it's gonna disappear you'll have to forgive me I don't normally do my makeup in my phone okay so I'm gonna grab a smaller brush like a like this these are BK Beauty brushes actually this one's a makeup geek but makeup geek no longer exist and now I'm going to, I actually like to do it like this. 
So I'm going to go from the bottom of my lash line. So this is going to be an extension on my, my lower lash line. And not the top. That's how you should actually be doing your wing liner. Is from the bottom of your lower lash line, not the top. Can't tell you how hard this is to do in a camera in a phone. Totally messed that one up. It's okay. Dang it! I didn't bring the brush in here. That's all right. We'll just make it a thicker line. Okay, so I'm gonna now connect it. So you could do this with two colors if you wanted to. All right, let's thicken this side up since I kind of messed that up. All right, take it under my lower lash just a little bit. Okay, we still need to blend. So I'm gonna grab my eyeshadow brush. This is from Saint. This is light. Like you can see, I'm not doing this with my brush. Just along the edges, and I'm gonna show you another trick too. Okay, so just like that. I'm gonna put my powder on it, so. This, so I just put a little bit in the cap. Try not to get this all over my son's rug. And then I use the, the bigger side of the blush, brush, bro, blush, bronze brush. Hi, Christy. All right, do you know what happened on Dateline last night with the Brian, is his name Koberger? I don't know. I watched, I fell asleep and it's driving me crazy because I don't know if they've discussed what the motive is. And I really want to know because that's what drives me crazy about murder is when there's no motive, I guess. I mean, well, I mean, murder's bad anyway, but I just, like, I feel like the victims need to be heard and motive is like very important. Okay, so I'm done with that. So now I'm just going to like let that sit on my skin, kind of absorb into it. And then we're gonna finish eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the BK Beauty brush. This is the 203 brush. And then I'm gonna go into Valencia. And then I'm gonna tap this softly over the edge of that butterscotch that I put down. So that just helps to blend that line. So really, I've just been wearing two colors lately. Okay, now this brush. This is the multitasker that I need to clean, apparently. So I use this setting spray again, and I just spray the brush just a little bit. And I'm gonna go into the color Drift. And then I'm just tapping this on my lid. up to that butterscotch. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I'm gonna grab it um, on my finger and just really give it a pop in the center. And then I do like to come back into that smaller uh, brush and just make sure I have a nice crisp line at the bottom okay that's it for the eyeshadow i don't even like do my brow anymore and i'm not gonna do my eyebrows today just because they're still healing from the microblading um i did do my mascara i will put my uh, magnetic lashes on just not right here and, okay, so now I'm gonna show you the little trick for your blush to get it to stay. So now that I've set it and powdered it, I'm just gonna go back into it. And this will help it to stay all day because the, the layering is really gonna help. Now, we are stippling, we're not dragging. Since it's already been set, it's gonna break up our makeup if we're just like, Urgh. just like that. So now my blush is gonna stay all day. And then I could take a little bit of my illuminator 
If you want to give yourself like the appearance of fuller cheeks, putting it right here is really going to help. So just like right here, it's going to help just to make your uh, cheeks look bigger. I don't put a lot of illuminator on just because I am oily and yee. Okay. Last but not least is my lips. This is actually, hi Tammy. Hi beauty bye. I got is this book? Oh, jewelry? No, I can't. I don't know. Sometimes I can't read. All right, so this is actually a uh, eyeliner. So this is the Maybelline Expert Wear in medium brown. So I just, this is like a two pack at Target. Um, I I really like this. It makes your lips look fuller, um, and it's not like the poopy brown color that most lip liners are. Sorry, they're poopy brown. I don't know what to say, but I'm gonna flex my lips, and this is gonna help it. So if you have any lip lines, this is gonna help it so it doesn't skip. It looks so weird without my magnetic lashes, but can't do that in my phone. Ooh. Okay. Looks like my filler's migrating. So just like that. And then I like to use just like, almost like a clear gloss. This is the Wet n Wild, the Mega Slicks in Too Too Sweet. So it's like one color up from the, the clear. And then I also like the champagne color, but this one's the Too Too Sweet. Just like that. So I just feel like it makes your lips appear fuller. And then I love the color of this, like the light just like shines off of it. And so it makes your, your lips appear fuller, but that's my makeup routine. Um, so nothing else. I just kind of let everything absorb and then the color is going to come back and it's just going to be like this most gorgeous radiant glow. But if you want help with your colors um, or if you just need some tips because you are my Saint customer, um, reach out to me. So I'm, I'm here for you. Um, if you need a color match, the link is in my bio. And yeah, just I'm... I can genuinely say I'm in love with this product. Like it's it's gorgeous, even on my oily skin. Just that little bit of prep helps the oil to not peek through all day. Like I'll just take like a tissue midday and that's it. I don't have to touch up my makeup. So this is it. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Have a good Saturday, bye. And let me know if you know what happened. Like what was the motive for these Idaho murders? All right, bye.